Kelly, you're a New Hampshire native. What is it like playing in your home state? Um, it's awesome. I know like my first year I went down to Richmond and I just miss my home so much and my family. But being here like allows my friends and family to come watch me and I get to play with some girls that I played against in high school. If you reflect your last four years here, what would you say has been the most memorable moment for you on the court? This year, um, we actually just played Vermont recently and we were down by three and I had this like turnaround pirouette and I hit a two and it was like the most athletic move I've actually ever had. So it'd probably be that. Nice. Now, this is a definitely a very close culture here at UNH. The Wildcats, so close. What would you say is the best part about playing as a Wildcat? Playing as a Wildcat, I'd have to say everyone um, in the field house, they're great. Like, you can go to anyone, and especially our coach, our coaches this year and last year, like, they've just been great. Like, you can go, I can go to anyone, I mean, teammates, my coaches, Marty, anyone in the staff working here is really great. Now, McGarity was the coach. She just started a couple years ago. What was it like making the transition from your old coach to this new one? Um, well, I mean, with everyone, like with every transition to any coach, it's hard for anyone. Like people are recruited to come with different coaches and then they leave. But she made it so easy. Like we're, we're very lucky. Like everyone that plays here is very lucky to have her. You can see this year, like we're winning a lot more and we're doing a lot better. And she's just, she's done that. What are your goals for the rest of the season? Well, we actually talked about it today. Coach Mag said, coach, we call her Coach Mags said that one of hers is to be in the top four, like to end in the top four in the conference. And I know for us as a team, like that's really big. We've already hit double digit wins this year. We've already um, made so many milestones, beating people we haven't beaten in nine years. So we would just probably say to end in the top four of the conference. What differences do you see from last year's team versus this year's team? You've been able to get wins on the road, that kind of thing. What's different? Um, I would have to say our team chemistry, like a lot of people are just playing up to their potential. Um, last year was hard with the coaching change, we were figuring things out, but now like we've had the time to settle in and we've all been able to play with each other and I think people are stepping up. Where do you see yourself after school ends in May? Oh, I think about that every day because you know what do you do when you're 15 years your whole life has changed like you have a, a new life but um, I have been thinking about playing overseas and if not I've worked at a preschool in the last six years so I love kids. I would work with kids. Maybe we'll see you as a coach. I would love that too. <laughs> All right, now you have this nickname, K Fly. Can you explain that? Whew, since mm, third grade. Um, my first AU team, we all made nicknames, and so I took the K from my first name and the Fly from Flynn, which is my last name, and I made K Fly. So K Fly, no lie. And it always stuck. And what's your major here, and what, what do you think has been the most effective class for you here? Oh, my major is psychology. Um, with a minor in education and I'd have to say one of my um, child development classes is a big one but recently I've also been looking into sports psychology because I just like I know like I've played a division, division one sport and I know what it's like with team dynamics and like I've been more interested in that so I took like a um, psychology class to dealing with like groups and stuff like that which was a really good one too.